do for you. Ask what you can do for the country. Which president? For that thing. Very good. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not an American president. I'm just the president of Tall Fire Toastmasters Club. So I asked, ask not what the club can do for you, but ask what you can do for the club. You see, our members, our Tall Fire Toastmasters members have been very exciting lately. He went all the way to the east of Singapore to catch the gaber. So in case you don't know um, what the gaber is, it's something like that, the gaber, all right? What, what's the... It's what? inside the box. Uh, inside the open box. the box. No, no. In the box, I know. Okay, some, so here. Okay. I'll show it to them. So, later they will show. So, <laughs> what is this? What is it for? Why do they have to travel all the way to the east uh, Marine Parade Toastmasters Club to catch the gaber? That is to encourage members from other clubs, you know, going to other clubs and visiting clubs and learning and growing. Not, not always be at the same club, you know, at the same comfort zone. So they went all the way and they were not disappointed. They were entertained and they had a feast. Not feast, you know, but they had a feast of 10 prepared speeches. It was the Marine Parade Toastmasters Contest day, mm. ten prepared speeches. So they they enjoy themselves. They learn lots, and you can you can feel the excitement when they share it in the in the um, the Topayo Toastmasters uh, email or the Facebook. And what else? This this all these are from members. Like the members themselves decided they want to go and catch the game, but it's not from the top, but it's from the members themselves. See. And they have Lin Lin here as well, you know, joining in Division D as a contest chair. So many things exciting coming out. I'm so glad to be the president of this club. I'm really glad. The members are very motivated. We support the club and we go up, you know, to other clubs. I'm more than happy. I'm happy. Yes and no. Yes, I'm so glad to have such motivated members, but no. Why? The contest is coming on the 8th of March. <laughs> 8th of March, okay, and we have about like 60 members. 8th of March is our very own Tuabayo Toastmasters Club contest. And you know who are the contestants? I speak for the advanced club. Huh? Three. Who are the three? The past president, <laughs> the present president, <laughs> and the future president. <laughs> three contestants, okay? What happened to the rest? But we all hear from KU. We have to enjoy the experience. We have to learn the experience. Why are the members not joining the contest? We should not forget why we joined the Toastmasters Club. Why? Because we want to be better in our communication skill, better in our leadership skill. A contest will be able to help you to get off your comfort zone, not just doing projects, but be at a contest and be a better speaker. So fellow Toastmasters, I do hope that more members after tonight's meeting will call the contest chair, he's here, James, okay, or the organizing chair, Roger, or come to me to say that I will join the contest. Will you Yes or no? Yes. Do I have your support? I'm a win. Uh, yeah, okay. No. Okay, those who are away, I mean, enjoy your holiday. But those who are in Singapore, if you can join the contest, because at the international contest, you need to complete Project 6 in order to do the international speech contest. But for table topics, you don't have to do any, any project, you can join the mm. table topics. So those who are away, they have the holiday. But those in Singapore, they do make an effort do make an effort to join the contest. But if you really don't want to join, but be here to support the contest, would that do? Yes, yes or no? Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. 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 Embrace, your enjoy friend. your journey and yes. what? Embrace. Embrace failure. Yes. Okay, over to you, Toastmaster of the day.